Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Mila B and today I'm going to be showing you how to do these baby boomer or pink and white ombre nails using poly gel. So I am removing the acrylic from my last set. If you're wondering, um, I'll put the video in the description box. This is some poly, some acrylic that I tried from Savvy Land. So it was pretty cool. I liked it. Um, probably use it again real cheap. But anyways, I use my coarse drill bit to remove the bulk of the nail and then I come in with my fine sanding bit just to clean up and smooth around my cuticles. Just get a lot of that dead skin off and then I apply the base coat and I cure it for 60 seconds. Next, I come in with my white poly gel. This is from Bella Vina, I think is how you pronounce it. Double dip nails, they have their own poly gel line. This is where I got it from. I also linked this whole kit in the description box as well. I really like this poly gel, y'all. It's super soft, super easy to use. Now, recently, I stopped using alcohol as my slip solution. I just started using whatever base coat I have or base gel I have laying around, and it just makes my life so much easier. So you can see I'm literally just gliding through this application, just applying a little thin, thin, thin layer of white to my tips, and I'm just working it back towards my cuticle, but I'm keeping it very thin because keep in mind, I'm going to have to come in with my second color as well as a clear. So you really don't want to make this too thick. After curing my thumb, I decided to go ahead and do the other four nails. So I'm pretty much going to keep it simple, guys. I'm literally just applying a little bit of white to my tips and just working, like, smoothing it and patting it. And I actually sped this video up, but just the application alone only took me about maybe about 30 minutes. Um, and that's including the pink and the clear because I honestly feel like using the base gel has just made poly, my poly gel experiences so much better because it just, I don't know, it glides better and it fills in those gaps. I don't know if you guys ever had like that issue where maybe like you cure and then you realize, oh my gosh, I'm missing like a little piece. I feel like the clear kind of fills that in, the base gel kind of fills that in so you have less of those issues after the fact. So pretty much I just get it into shape. Now, if you have never worked with poly gel before, it's super soft. So if you make a mistake and you don't get your nails perfect, it's no big deal. It's super easy to file these into shape. Now, I'm not going to lie. I do wish that this kit would have came with a clear because I absolutely love this poly gel. But unfortunately, it did not. So for this video, I'm going to use their white and their nude but the clear that i'm using actually is from another company After I cured my nails, I came in with a nude and I applied it to the root of my, or the part close to my cuticle and I used my base gel again just to use it as a slip method and I pat it as close as I can to the cuticle without touching it and then 
I I don't know. I just feel like if I make the straight line and then blend it down, my ombre comes out better because it is a little bit harder to ombre with poly gel to me versus acrylic. Mm -hmm. But if you just take your time and keep going, I kind of wipe these little pieces off and then just continue blending. So you just blend it until you get the desired look. And anytime I'm doing ombre with poly gel, I do use alcohol to clean up around that blended part because it just keeps it from getting like that harsh line so i do feel like the alcohol is really good whenever you're blending the pink to the white or the nude to the white i just continued this process for the rest of my nails and then when i was done i cured them fully for a good 90 seconds If you see that no matter how much you're blending and patting that this line is just not working, go ahead and cure it and come back with a little bit more poly gel. That way you don't really mess up what you already have that's good and then you're still able to make that fix on whatever needs to be done.
After I got what I thought looked pretty cute, I went ahead and cured these nails for 60 seconds. And then I come in with clear. I am using the Gershon Clear Poly Gel. As y'all all know, I love Gershon as well. So I went ahead and applied that, applied my base gel once again. You can see me kind of smushing it. What I'm doing is going ahead and getting those air bubbles out with the gel. So that way it's seamless once I cure these nails so guys i really love this set i really enjoy doing these very quick very easy i hope you like this method that i use if you didn't I'm sorry <laughs> but once i got this clear right where i wanted it all the excess clear guys i just brush it right onto that paper towel because eh, i put too much but that's okay you live and you learn so anyways once i got this all to my liking and smooth and pat my apex built up I went ahead and I cured these for a full 90 seconds and I filed, shaped, and buffed off camera. And now I'm coming in with my top gel coat from Bellavena or Double Dip, whatever. And I like this because it has very high shine. It looks really good and it kind of seals it in. Y'all know I do hair too, so I don't like my nails to be stained. And then I come in with my cuticle oil from Parker J's Hair Care. I'll tag that in the description box along with a coupon. And that's it. I love these nails. I love them, love them, love them. But thank you guys for tuning in. If you made it this far, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Mila B, out.